Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to just quickly clarify a few things based on my last video where I talked about the certification changes that were coming and there were a lot of questions and a lot of the same question which means there was confusion about a few things so in this video I wanted to try and clarify those things. If this is useful when you want to stay up to date uh, please go ahead and hit subscribe. I try and keep people updated on all things kind of Azure and the cloud. So to recap, in the past, and I'll use an example here for me and my Azure Architect Expert certification. So we would take a big exam, and when we passed that big exam that obviously we paid dollars for, it had a certain expiry time. Now these are the role-based, the speciality certifications, not the fundamentals that don't expire. So I take that exam, and that exam is valid for two years. So I took this back in kind of, let's say, October 2018. So it's going to expire October 2020. So what I did is I retook all the exams and kind of pay again. And I took those in September 2020. So now that is now good through September 2022. And if nothing changed, at this point I would take those big exams again, pay the money to extend it another two years. So that was the old way. So what has been announced is starting in February, for most of the role and speciality certifications, there's now an assessment you can take, and it's free. This is an online learning module that's free, and an assessment you take that's free. If we actually go and look at the Microsoft article, and I, I've got a link to this in the comments, so go and look at this directly, what we can actually see is it talks about all the different certifications that are available starting in early February 2021, and then the ones that will be available starting mid-Feb, March 2021. So kind of they're, they're all coming, but you can see these are all the cloud certifications. So we can go and see all these different certs available. I recommend you read this article, it's very good. It has a very good frequently asked questions down the bottom, which some of those I'm actually gonna cover in this. And so the point now is that instead of in September 2022, I have to take this big exam and pay money again, six months before it's due to expire, so I can kind of think about, well, at this kind of six month window, at any time in this six month period, I can take that online assessment. No matter when I take it in that six month period, what it's going to do is add one year to my current expiry time. Not from the time I take the assessment, it's adding one year to my current expiry time. So it's now gonna extend me to September 2023. And this continues forever. So again, at six months in that window, at any point, I can take the assessment. So at this point, remember, I, I take that little assessment, it's free, there's a free online module as well, I add a year. At any time in this six month block, again, I take an assessment, I add a year. So now I'm to a 2024. This goes on forever. These are free, free, keep going on free. So now I can just keep extending my certification by one year at a time. It adds a year to my expiry time, not the time I take the assessment. So that's the first change. Now I pay for the certification, and once I pay for it and have the cert, I just renew it annually via a free online module and assessment and that's it. Now the other change is starting from June 2021, so this is June 2021, when I take that exam, so now if I take it after June 2021, I take my exam, instead of it being two years, well it's now going to be valid for one year. And then the same thing applies at six month window, any time in that six month window, I take the free assessment. So again, remember I pay for the initial exam, 
and then I take the free assessment. I pass the free assessment and it's going to add another year. And then at six months, I take within that window an assessment, adds another year, etc., etc., forever. I can take the assessment as many times as I want. I can take it back to back um, the first and second time. Subsequent tries, so if I fail it twice in that first attempt, I can take the assessment once every 24 hours until I pass. They're all free, they're online, I'm not going anywhere to take these assessments. I can just keep taking them. This one year is not retroactive. If I've taken my exam before June 2021, and it's currently a two-year validity, so if I took it in May 2021, it's two years validity. They're not going to shorten it to one year. If I take the exam after, so June 2021 and beyond, then it's one year. So no one is shortening your existing certification times. It's for ones taken after that. So again, if I took my exam in May 2021, I took my exam here, well, it's good for two years. And then that six month kind of window time, I take the assessment that's free, remember, and it extends it one year from the current expiry time. So if you're someone like me who likes to kind of get ahead of things, as soon as I get that email, you'll get four emails reminding you. I'm gonna probably take it straight away. Uh, I tend to stay current anyway. It's not gonna start a year from the time I take the exam. It adds a year to my current expiry time. That's kind of the, the key point. Again, this does not apply to fundamentals. Fundamentals don't expire. What you can actually do is if you go and look at your, um, your training, my dashboard, you can actually see a list of kind of your portfolio, all of your assessments. In there, it will show you the time, I'm actually showing mine here, when you got the certification and the time it's gonna expire. So you're gonna get approximately six months um, before it expires. You're gonna get kind of email, say, hey, if you let it expire, so if I do not take these assessments before it expires, uh, go back to go. I'll have to pay, take the full exam again to get the cert, and then I can start taking the assessments. So I hope that clears things up. Um, essentially, no one is retroactively shortening existing expiry times you already have. If you have something that expires in two years, it's still going to expire in two years. But six months before that expiry, I'm going to be able to take this free assessment to extend it by a year, and then a year, a year, a year, forever. If I take my certification after June 2021, it's gonna last for one year, and then I take those free assessments annually forever and ever and ever. Doesn't apply to fundamentals. Again, look at the document, look at the frequently asked questions. Um, I think that's kind of the, the common things people were asking. So it's not shortening existing certifications. It does apply, i.e. I can start taking the assessment to existing certs. It's not only ones taken after kind of that June 2021. For me, um, people have asked, uh, I prefer this. I do not like, I have a lot of certifications. I do not like the big stress of having to set a whole bunch of exams. Um, there's obviously a cost, maybe your job helps with those or not. I much prefer the idea of just a, a much lighter annual assessment to really big exams every two years. It's, I think it's gonna be less work. Uh, I liken it to kind of Windows 10, and it's that constant small increments of change instead of companies doing those massive OS upgrades from XP to Windows 7, uh, Windows 7 to Windows 10. We now have the Windows 10 Windows as a service, little incremental checks a bit more frequently, but less overall work. And that's my opinion. Uh, my goal here is just to transfer the facts, the knowledge, uh, you draw your own conclusions from those. But that's it, I hope that was useful. Um, until next time, stay safe.